Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling an interesting question from one of our viewers about Angular. They want to create a generic HTML fragment component that can dynamically insert both HTML content and styles from a database. But there's a catch. They're struggling with how to properly insert a style tag in their view template. Let's dive into the details. Our viewer has set up a component where they can input HTML and style content. They can successfully inject the HTML into their template, but the style tag isn't applying the styles as expected. This is a common hurdle when working with dynamic content in Angular. So how can we make this work? Let's explore their code and find a solution together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Now, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now let's continue on. To dynamically insert a style tag in your Angular component, we need to understand how Angular handles styles and HTML content. Instead of using the style tag directly in your template, we can create a method to inject styles into the document head. Let's modify your component to include this functionality. First, import render2 from Angular Core. Next, in your component's ng-on-init lifecycle hook, create a style element and set its content to the style content input. Finally, ensure that your HTML content is still rendered correctly in the template. This way, both the HTML and styles will be applied dynamically. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The recommended approach for adding styles in Angular is to store your CSS or SCSS separately in your database and compile them server-side. This method supports Shadow DOM and avoids security issues. Injecting styles directly into templates is generally a bad practice. It can violate encapsulation and lead to global styles that are hard to manage. One workaround is to use an SVG tag to prevent the removal of style tags. However, this is not a best practice and may be caught by future compilers. Other solutions mentioned may bypass security measures and create potential injection risks. It's important to consider security when handling styles in Angular. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. In Angular, the style element is typically placed in the head of the document. However, you can dynamically apply styles to HTML elements using the attribute binding syntax. Here's an example. In the component, you define a style string and use Angular's DOM sanitizer to safely apply it to an element. This allows you to create styled elements directly in your templates while keeping your application secure. All 
I hope that video helped find the resolution you're looking for. If it did, guys, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time that you need more technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers. Yeah.